Manual watershed delineation is a five-step process. This class exercise will let you practice manual delineation. This is training module 2.04C for the stochastic empirical loading and dilution model seldom. This presentation has 11 slides and will take about four minutes. Once you watch this video, try these class exercises at home. This training module was prepared by the U.S. Geological Survey in cooperation with the Federal Highway Administration. In this class exercise, you can apply the five steps for manual watershed delineation and check those results with stream stats. The five steps are, one, find the point of interest along a stream on the map. Two, imagine or draw surface water flow lines that point downhill perpendicular to the topographic contours. Three, mark the location of topographic high points around the stream. Four, mark the points along the contours that divide flows towards or away from the stream and five, connect the dots to delineate the watershed. You can use the USGS National Map at https viewer.nationalmap.gov slash advanced viewer to get maps for manual delineation. You can use StreamStats at https streamstats.usgs.gov slash ss slash to automatically delineate the watersheds. Here is one class exercise. Try to delineate the basin for the stream crossing Route 17. This site is at Pinto Mesa in Arizona. The latitude is 34.5311 and the longitude is minus 111.9458. In this case, the steep and highly crenulated terrain facilitate basin delineation. We see a ridge and three hilltops that encompass the stream crossing Route 17 at the designated location. This figure is our Pinto Mesa Basin as it was delineated by the online USGS StreamStats application for Arizona. The basin divide, or watershed, is the black line. The pink area is the drainage area. Hopefully this looks similar to what you got by studying the topographic map. Now, try to delineate the basin for the stream crossing State Route 213 near Salem, Oregon. The latitude is 44.9835 and the longitude is minus 122.9346. We can see that most of the basin for this tributary is somewhat flat with only one topographic contour between the stream and surrounding tributaries to the Little Pudding River. The watercourse gets steep as it approaches Route 213, but much of the basin would be difficult to delineate with this map. This figure is our basin for the tributary to Little Pudding River as it was delineated on the USGS StreamStats application for Oregon. The basin divide or watershed is the black line. The pink area is the drainage area. The data within StreamStats is more detailed than was shown on the previous map. In this case, we could see the watershed divide falls between visible contours, but is not halfway between them. Now, try to delineate the basin for Howard Brook in Massachusetts, where it approaches I-290 in Northborough. The latitude is 42.33551, and the longitude is minus 71.66505. We can see that there are substantial changes in topography, and the basin is well delineated by a series of hills and ridges. This figure is our basin for Howard Brook, Massachusetts, as it was delineated by the online USGS StreamStats application for Massachusetts. The basin divide, or watershed, is the black line. The pink area is the drainage area. Hopefully your manual delineation looks like this one. Hopefully you learn to use the national map and or StreamStats to delineate your basins in this class exercise. The links for the national map and StreamStats as of July 2020 are https viewer.nationalmap.gov slash advanced dash viewer slash for the national map and https streamstats.usgs.gov slash ss slash for streamstats.